Hi, and welcome back. I have uh, decided to do a video, even though it's only been a few days since I did my mania plans. Today is May 3rd. It's my father's 86th birthday. Uh, he suffers with dementia, so I know he won't see this video. Even if he did, it wouldn't mean anything to him. Um, but thinking of him means a lot to me. Just like it means a lot to me that uh, you stop by and watch my videos. I truly appreciate it. Um, let me see. Let me widen it out a little because it's a little too close. There you go. You can see Grandfather back there in the corner. Um, yeah, well, I've done some stitching since I recorded my mania plans. And I'm doing pretty good. Uh, May 1st was my Alma Lynn start. It was Priscilla Francis White Hanky. And I was all excited to start this. Let me see if I can get to her. There she is. And I will show you her picture. Um, she is an adorable uh, red, white, and blue dressed bunny holding an American flag with a heart where the stars should be. And it's wonderful. I really like it. Um, I'm wondering if I can show you part of this pattern. I really doubt anyone is going to stitch this, but you never know. So let me just fold up part of what I haven't stitched and show you part of this pattern. Now, do you see that? This is an old book, and this is out of a book. And as you can see by the symbols, it's a hand-drawn chart. Which wouldn't be so bad if in the key, let me see if I can find, I think I'm just using the key out of the book. I don't know how anybody really did it because If you look at this key, you can see that there are places in the chart shown by these carrots. Like this is Ekru. Well, it's got four different symbols. And I think because it's a hand-drawn chart, like if they're dividing into like a half stitch or a quarter stitch, they've shown the symbol in a different format. Which wouldn't be so bad, except in things like, let me see if I can find it. Um, here, beige gray medium, number 644, DMC. Well, that is not only an X, it's the number four. This is going to be a very interesting chart for me to work on, um, especially since I cross-stitch mostly to think and to relax or to watch a movie or whatever else I'm doing, listening to a book, and complications like this don't make that easy. All right, I think that's right side up. I'll show you what I've done. Um, I don't think my tea stained fabric is making this any easier because this is color number 644, which is that beige gray, which is not only the X, but the number four. And that's what I've done. And it's part of her sleeve, part of the bell sleeve that she has. And it's also part of the bloused waist of her dress or her shirt of her blouse because back in the 80s we wore blouses um and what i thought was white is pretty much gray i'm uh, not gray beige but i'm going to keep i'm going to i am going to persist and yet she persisted because that's just who i am and I will keep working on this. 
it may not be a whole lot that I accomplish at any one given time, but um, I will continue and I will show you whatever progress I get. I think by the end of May I'm going to have a lot of whips because when I did my mania plans, ideas, God laughs, he always does, um, I was doing every other day. So it would be May 1st and then today, May 3rd. So today I'm going to start jeans and weenies, which I haven't done yet. Um, but instead, I realized I watched um, the Stash Queens video. Katie, she has a new video out. And she was showing her mania plans. And she was talking about Stitch Mania, the Facebook group, and how this month's Stitch Along, um, the tour de designer, is Mill Hill. And I had a Mill Hill kit that I've wanted to start for a while now. And it's Percy Pig by Jim Shore. And it comes complete. Um, I already have it in a bag. I took it out of the other. But it comes with the floss, and it came with two packets, packages of beads, and it came with this painted yellow perforated paper. And I took the floss, and I, I take a piece of cardboard, like box board, and I just punched holes in it. And then I divided the floss up, and I just use it like floss cards, which is good. So it comes with that, and then it came with the... I see one package of beads, but I don't see the other one. Oh, there it is. I make a working copy, so the beads kind of got between the pages of my working copy. But it came with a package of beads that are green. I'm sorry for the shaking. The green and yellows and reds and pinks. And then I have blues and purples and pinks in here. And I have a beading needle and a regular needle in there. So it's all good. And then Percy has a button, so it has the button also, which goes right there on the pattern. You can see he's got like a, a saddle on or a blanket, and you can see the little house there. And so what I've done so far is pretty much that part of his blanket. And I was looking at my pattern, and... For those two colors, the black and the uh, dark gold, I think those are the only stitches. So that's not, not bad. That's why it has so many colors, because there's not a lot of stitches, because it's only a five by five. So that's not a whole lot. Excuse me, I dropped beads, and I don't want to forget they're down there and have one of the many animals in my house take off with them. Um, which reminds me, you do have two dogs, I think, that you've never seen in, I think, three cats, but I'm not going to worry too much about the three cats. But I may insert a picture of our dog, Vixen. Um, and I think I have one of Kibbles, too, so I'll put those in so you can see the other two dogs besides Wally and Rowdy, because those two always seem to make conversation in my videos, but um, the other two dogs aren't as uh, in my face. Although, if you ever hear snoring, it's Vixen, because she's laying on her pillow down there next to me, because none of them are very far away from me, ever. Ever. Even It's like having little kids. Even finding time to go to the bathroom alone is a trick. <laughs> anyway, just saying. So that was May 1st and May 2nd. Now, May 2nd was a bonus because that was the Mill Hill sale. And I didn't plan it. It was just I was watching Katie's video and I decided I was going to do that. So I did. And let's see. Today I'm going to start... Oh, no. I'm going to start jeans and weenies. But I don't know if I have the pattern here. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. That's spring rolls. There it is. Jeans and weenies. Sorry. Jeans and weenies. Little docks and dogs. A fire hydrant. And it's red, white, and blue. 
and it's called Jeans and Weenies, and it's by Plum Street Samplers. So, I'm looking forward to this, and I'm doing this because it has dogs, and my father just loves dogs, and it's his birthday. So I thought, what better time to start one of my dog patterns than on my father's birthday? So, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm thinking, this is on... Thirty-six count vintage pecan butter, and it says it's using one strand of floss over two linen threads. But I'm going to do it on eighteen count vintage country mocha that I got at one two three stitch. It's a little bit darker, I think, than the color that shows up here, and this says it's. Um, 170, 157 stitches wide by 66 stitches high. So, um, I know it'll fit on this piece of fabric, so I'm, it's all good. So that I'm going to start today. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, and on May 1st, Priscilla was kind of being a difficult stitch for me. Um, after hand dyeing this uh, oh, uh, light oatmeal fiddler's cloth, it was already 18 count, and I think the holes may have gotten even smaller. And I always use a magnifier when I stitch. I use, um, actually, I use this visor. It's kind of like Mag Eyes. This is one I've used for doll making. And I have a little rhinestone that I put on it, or three rhinestones on this side of it. And that's because this was my doll making um, visor. And I took it to conventions and things with me. But it has a double uh, set of magnifiers. But I only use the, the basic one. But I always use that when I stitch. Or I have a pair of cheaters if I don't want to put anything on my head. I have these, and I think they're, I don't know, maybe one and a half. Not terrible. Um, but I was having a really hard time seeing that gray beige on this fabric, even with all my, with my daylight lamp and my magnifiers. So, instead of struggling and frustrating myself, I put those few stitches in. And then I moved on. <laughs> and what I moved on to was actually back to, and that was my um, Satsuma Street Elephant Biscornu. And that's what the Biscornu will look like. And then that's what the back of it, or the bottom of it, I guess, will look like. And I actually finished the front of it. And that's what the front looks like. Well, I have to do the eyes for the elephant, but I don't know that I'm going to give them the yellow eyes that it's um, charted for. I think I'm going to do something different. And then I started the back. I got a few stitches into the back, and I'm hoping and praying that the back and the front are both going to fit on this fabric and that uh, I'll be able to cut it apart, put the running stitch border or the back stitch border around it that you have to sew the two halves together with and um, that it will all be good. I'm thinking it will. It should be. And in my other video I was seeing how the pattern, that was my PC shutting off, uh, how the pattern said top. Well, when I got to the back of the pattern, the back says bottom. So it wasn't saying top of the chart, it was saying top of the piece. So, okay. Duh. Anyway, at least I answered my own question. And my needle minder on this is a black and white kitty cat that I made myself. I love cats. Um, yeah. So this is nice. I showed it to my daughter 
Alexandria because I'm making this piece for her because she loves elephants. And she's doing uh, an elephant, I think it's a di dimensions kit, like a, a savannah elephants, like a mother and, ch and children. And it's coming along really well. She showed that to me yesterday. And uh, we were doing a Facebook Messenger has video calls just like um, Skype and things. So we were doing one of those calls. That's how we talk to each other because she lives in San Antonio, Texas now. So it's fun. And uh, so we caught up with some of our stitching. And then let's see. Oh, Katie also was talking about May the 4th be with you. And I'm thinking, I have Star Trek. I have a Star Trek cross stitch book, but I didn't have any Star Wars cross stitch. So, and Disney has the rights to Star Wars, and we go to Disney every year um, because I have a Disney like timeshare. And um, so I went online to Etsy. And there's an Etsy shop called Stitch Line, and I'll put the link in the box below. And she had a bunch. I think she has like 36 Star Wars charts, but the one I got was uh, a BB-8, and I don't have a picture of it here. If I can get a picture, I will post one here to show you what it looks like. But uh, So I downloaded that, and I'm going to start that tomorrow. So my stitch mania is really turning out to be mania. Yes, Kelly Bell is crazy. <laughs> anyway, so tomorrow I do intend to start um, BB-8 for May the 4th be with you. So much for my mania being every other day. So far it's been a new start every day. Um, and let's see, and the 22nd of May is Katie's birthday. And so that's going to be something royal or with a crown. And I haven't really decided what to do for that. I hate to say it, but Hade, the Hade website is having a sale for Mother's Day. And it goes until the 7th. And I have so many big projects. I mean, I really need an intervention. <laughs> but Queen Elizabeth. is a cat and she's holding a mouse in her paws. And I don't own that chart yet. She's on my wish list. I was thinking I could start that. I could buy that chart and start that for Katie's birthday. I think I'm running out of 25 and 28 count magic guide fabrics. I'm probably gonna have to get more of that too. Not to mention what all these big projects do to your flesh, your floss stash. To flesh stash, no, floss stash. Anyway, <laughs> I'm having fun, so I guess that's all that matters. Um, probably not doing as much stitching as I could do, because there's so many other things that I want to do. But I am enjoying it. And I made, I think I showed my brown... Bluffies pendant in my last video and I was thinking I haven't done any of those in a while so I made three more polymer clay molded faces and they're just backed with felt right now for me to bead around and make more pendants I just have to pick bead colors see I'm never bored Sometimes I have a hard time picking and choosing what I want to do, but I'm never bored. It's always fun. Not a whole lot else going on. I still have, I think, four or five flower gardens to go out and pull all the weeds and junk out of. Um, but it's been rainy and cold here in New York the last two days, and it's kind of rainy and cold out there today. So I won't be going out there today. I did get my vegetable garden tilled, and my daughter and I went out and we put posts down so we can put some chicken wire up around them. And then we'll put some pinwheel, pinwheels on the 
stakes to try to keep the deer and stuff off our sunflowers and vegetables. Um, oh my goodness, I better stop while I'm ahead. Uh, so many things I want to do. My brain is racing. So at this point, thank you if you stuck with me this long. <laughs> I appreciate it. I hope that you have a strong stitchy bug right now and that you are having many hours of happy stitching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. God bless. Bye.